Happy Saturday. Welcome back to Ribbon Candy Hooking. I am in Delaware with D. We are at a meeting of the Wilmingtons. Mm -hmm. Fiber artists That's and very inclusive fiber artists. So super, super fun. You meet once yeah, a month. Once a month. It's absolutely crazy here. It's a lot of fun. It's lively. It's informal. It's loud. It's zany. What else is it? Snacks. <laughs> Who doesn't like snacks? Snack? And we have we have our Facebook page. Please go to our Facebook page, the Wilmingtons. There you go. That meet in Wilmington, and all are welcome. The more, the merrier. I can't recommend this group highly enough. It Thank is, you. This is not a coven of witches. This is this is a fun <laughs> group. A really fun group. So we are. We have a special treat for you here today too. I'm going to just turn the camera around. So I am here with Magbus and Victoria, and I am looking at a couple extraordinary rugs that are here. Victoria, do you want to start us off with your rug? You are by far the youngest hooker who's here today. Nine years old. Nine years old. Oh my Look gosh. Look at this. What a beautiful pattern this is. This is called beautiful. Sunflower uh, Tile Series. Yes. And who's the designer on this one? The Woolen Garden. The Woolen Garden, yeah. What a beautiful... Pa Victoria, did you pick this one out? Yeah. Excellent. What made you like it? Was it the giant flower? It was a giant flower. <laughs> because you are doing knows. some lovely work. Yes. It's super summery. Is this your first piece? No, it's my third. Holy mackerel. So you're enjoying it. Yeah. Is this gonna, is this gonna be your your thing growing up? Yeah. Oh, I can see you doing this. You're obviously a supernatural at this. Mm -hmm. This is a beautiful piece. Are you inspired by anybody specific in your <laughs> life? <laughs> so, yes. Magnus, let's look at this work, which we were talking about this yes. earlier, and it really has a beautiful story, and it's an extraordinary yes. work. The story behind, this is one of my father's pictures. Mm. He started painting later on in life with having some, you know, Alzheimer's, like yeah. many goes through that. Yeah. And he wants to paint. And all the kids start getting him canvas and painting and all that. And after he passed in 2020, I decided to get one of his paintings and made a pattern from and And I hook it. That's just it it's a beautiful landscape. I love it. It's absolutely beautiful. So had he been a painter earlier in his life? In his life, he did a little bit. A little bit. You know, he used to be a professor, English professor. Really? And uh, uh, But he did that like part of his kind of hobby. Yeah. Um, but later on, when he got older, he still remembered parts of his country. We are original from Venezuela. Oh. And he said to us, I'm painting you know, houses and landscaping that I remember from Venezuela growing up. Wow. And um, so that is how he got all his inspiration. So many other ones that we have in home from him, and we love it. It's, it's very a treasure. Very, very much so. Gosh. It re so this is Venezuela? This is part of the things that he remembered, yeah, from Venezuela. Oh, Lord. You know, like a little houses in the countryside. Oh, my gosh. This is, and you hooked it so beautifully. It's such Thank an you. emotional piece because it's a, it it's a memory of your dad, it like is. toward the end of his life. Oh, yes. And, it and it's, this is his memory museum right here, and now you've absolutely, captured it. Absolutely. Such a beautiful piece. I love how you used a different material for the yes. flowers here. And up in the sky, these soft clouds. Oh. God, it's a gorgeous piece. And you know, in the little because this is very hard to replicate what you see mm -hmm. in a painting, you know, because the strokes are different. Absolutely. You know, different but I have a little pieces of wool standing up at the bottom of, you know, the the base of the trees yep. to simulate, you know, the grass. Yes. That it grows. Oh yeah, the yeah. It's like a little bit proddy, like it's sticking up yeah. a little. Oh, it's yes. very good. It's yeah. very good. Lots of different fibers. Yeah, it's just a beautiful, that. oh, it's beautiful. Victoria, are you also in love with this piece? Yeah. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It is. It's it's so, so, oh. I love it. And it's got such special feeling attached yeah. to it. You know, it that's has. the thing it is, has. oh, it does. That's the most important. I think when you get something that means to you, yeah. when you hook in that, it's, it brings so many different emotions and memories. It's, it's gorgeous. It's I love gorgeous. It. I will, I will. Advice to anyone: Get a portrait. Get something around. Something you. special. Yeah, and even your childhood. Something yeah. that you remember from your childhood. Just draw it. Okay. And, and you don't have to be a great artist, right? No, you just you put don't. the lines down. Yeah. And get a start, right? Exactly. It's amazing how it fills in once you get started, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Beautiful. And and I mean, oh. it's just the best thing to be able to work from your dad's like painting. 
right? Because yeah. you know it's his image. It's the whole composition mm -hmm. is his, and just a beautiful piece. Thank you so much for sharing You're this very piece. Welcome. Thank you for showing this. I hope everybody loves it. I think everybody is falling in love right now. Thank you. And Victoria, I think everyone's falling in love with you too. <laughs> <laughs> you are adorable. Thank you. So we. Much. <laughs> You're welcome. We will see you soon.